What's up fam, it's your host Nagy Boy Gnome Gnome, welcome back to the channel And in today's episode we have an, an exciting showcase to you And one of my unique builds actually are constructed within Demon Soul itself uh, A build that gives you a certain form of survivability A certain form of pleasure actually that you truly want to replay this game as many times as you actually want um, This build is constructed for you to be uh, versatile at any single form, at any single time And you want to play Demon Souls uh, you don't have to respect the character or do whatever, or you just can be as flexible as you want. Uh, you don't need to go to hyper mode if you don't need, but if you want, you can do it. This build I nominated uh, the one and only Leech King. The Leech King as a build that by hearts is not meant attempt to make you immortal, but you will then sure become very very close to it. Um, the Leech King will give you some ability and will give you options to attack and to address a certain situation without you willing to cheese the game, or cheat the game, or just do whatever you want to do. And for that we chose as a starter's class the Knights. The Knights gave us a form of vitality, give us nice strength and nice, uh, endurance, and a good chunk of luck as well, and to, for us to be able to spec a character that the, want, the way that we spec'd it um, through this playthrough and walk through guide. Um, the nicest thing about the Leech King, you can go um, hyper mode like I'm doing right now for trying to destroy the Maiden Estrella quite fast and New Game Plus 5. So that this really gives you options to address every single situation as you want to. Um, every single ball that you deal with in uh, the Leech King um, playstyle, you just need a few hits and this guy is just simply dead. Um, and I even not going into hyper mode, as you can see, the balls melt extremely, extremely fast. Even the hardest bosses like the man eater are so demanding as because of the mechanics, they become very easy. The nicest thing about this build is actually it's also very strong and survivable within PvP as well. But one mistake you do against me with this build, and you will die. I will one shot you. I let him showcase to you right now. So if you like this content, don't forget to press like, and comment down below, and subscribe yourself. Before that, we're gonna check this build and close to extent how I constructed it from the grounds up. And I'm gonna finish with it with a nice video in the end as well. So let's do this, shall we? Now, in form of stats, actually, how this um, build actually looks like, actually, and how it, I constructed this build actually from the ground up. So. What do I have actually in this stage right now? I have 50 points in vitality. I put 80 points into intelligence, uh, 39 points into endurance, 40 points into strength, and 80 points into dexterity, 90 points into magic, um, 80 points into faith, and 12 points into luck at this point. And I'm right now with a soul level 135. Uh, do you need actually to put so many uh, stat max souls in the way I? I level up my character. No, it's actually it's not necessary. Uh, what I've learned actually when I'm playing my through playing Demon Souls uh, through all NG plus uh, all the way to NG plus five, um, what I actually only needed it actually for for me to be able to survive and make sure that this build still shines itself. Um, if you can make it manage to put uh, your stats level at your soul level between uh, soul level 120 to 130 somewhere there. Um, make sure you have somewhere between the Vitality 30, uh, Intelligence 18, to make sure you have the necessary magic for you to certain for use a certain form of abilities. Um, at least to have three slots of magic pools that you can use a solid form of uh, magic output. Endurance at uh, 40, so you may, you may be able to use of 39 or 35, depends where you want, but a good number so you may be able to use a certain form of heavy armor. Strength at 40 because we are base, we are a strength build. Dexterity at 18, magic at 18, faith at 18, and luck at 25. Um, if you manage to put these stats like this, you should be able to have somewhere around uh, um, 125 to 130 souls level. And you will be mid max much better than the way I actually did it. Um, that's actually the best way to mid max this character than the way I've done it uh, through my playthrough right now. Uh, that's what I've learned playing through Demon Souls all the way to the NG World Plus 5. That I actually don't need the stats what I needed right now. I could have done it much better. And hopefully uh, you can. And 
um, do it as well uh, much better but if you of course if you want to copy what it is right now I uh, guarantee you like you saw on the, on the gameplay I'm destroying the enemies actually and in a new game plus with zero problem only two hits two hits depends if I'm going to hyper mode yes or no and I'm still destroying them with very very ease the, uh, the the gear set that I chose to use actually the first and uh, most important the most important one is the Dragon Bone Smasher. That is literally the the bread and butter and form of uh, the most popular DPS uh, weapon tool that we have with um, strength builders. I really love this uh, this weapon because this this abilities he has if you if you're running very fast and you're approaching your enemy, he has an amazing uh, uh, swing attack. Every single person is caught in it. It's just gonna fly. You're just gonna make them all fly, especially in PvP as well. It is nice to off-balance your 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 targets. But it's also, of course, it's an ability that can be um, uh, dodged quite easy. But those who cannot dodge it, it just you send them flying. I just love it. The second ability that this uh, two cage, this weapon, I should have is this light attack and follow with a heavy attack. That's the one I use the most of the time. I, I use light attack and I change my direction. Both. And I hit him. Most of the time people always like to block or dodge a first attack. And then you follow in a heavy attack. You have another ability. Of course you have a normal swing attack. A light attack. And heavy attack. You have. Uh, for one hand combat you always have. A light attack like this. And a more heavy attack like that. Um, what I do not recommend you to use. Is follow two heavy attacks. Because it's quite very slow. Even the second ability as, a, as an AoE effect, it's quite very, very slow. Uh, or you, that's the best option uh, in form of moveset you have within this uh, weapon. The secondary weapon that I use as shield is the Justice Shield. At this level I only have uh, Demon Souls plus 2. I find it more than enough actually the form of uh, a health recovery I'm gaining with this. If you can manage to put 2 all the way to 5, definitely go and do it. I'm uh, using the Talisman of Beast because I'm having intelligence to 18 and a magic to 18. I'm having an output of this quite strong in form of DPS. Uh, as you saw in the playthroughs, I'm truly destroying to, uh, my enemies. I'm truly benefiting from magic even though I'm not a magic character. I'm still benefiting from magic quite very strong actually. And I'm adjusting that of course with the Monk's Head Wrapping. The Monk's Head Wrapping increases your magical DPS output if you have it equipped. If everything... Um, that is magic based uh, abilities I have this equipped the secondary weapon I use where I I used uh, on this build my one of my favorite weapon actually is a blue boss sword and of course uh, let me get my secondary shield I didn't have it equipped my baby oh no um, let me do this first that's the Makoto, I put it away. Yes. Now. The Dark Shield. That is literally my most favorite combination that I use in my overland gameplay and just in, even in PvP as well because um, the swing of this weapon is really, really nice. You can really, really uh, target your enemy when he's off balance for some reason. I just, uh, you reach him very, very far from the distance and. I just continue with a light attack and with a heavy attack. I just destroy him very easily. And then you, then you can combine it, you combine it with any form of magic ability you have, uh, equip soul way of anything else. Um, you can equip it and just you go. Uh, you you launch yourself, light attack, light attack, heavy attack, and you follow with a soul way, for example. Uh, um, and you just destroy him instantly. You will never see it coming. And you say like, "Well, is he? Is he?" A melee build uh, player or a magic based uh, player. Uh, that's one of the abilities I like to use. Uh, the second ability I like to use actually, uh, of course, is the Dark Shield itself. The Dark Shield is one of the best shields you have in the game. It has an, an 100% uh, mitigation in form of a shi a shield abilities. It gives you 100% uh, physical resistance and magical resistance. So, in form of uh, if you're fighting a one on one, against uh, yeah, a magic based character and anything that he shows you that comes magically is just gonna bounce back out of you of course if you're not using anti-magic ability for faith ability um, and I, ha I like to have this equipped 
so I can use the other abilities like regenification or just a heal, just not a matter. If I don't have of uh, Wrath of God, even I uh, try to surprise somebody, but I hardly use Wrath of God. What I am, what I like to use in form of abilities, or in PvP oh, or PVE actually, um, it's of course the anti magic ability. The anti magic ability is a. Uh, he casts an ability around you, and every single person that has an, a magic, magic cast ability is opened op automatically. Uh, it's been taken out of the game, always in PvP or in PvP. I truly like that ability really a lot. Um, in form of magic, what I like to use as well, and as well in PvP and PvE, Firestorm is quite nice, but it's quite slow. A lot of people like to have tendency to to dodge it and try to kill you as fast as possible before that prox. But if you can surprise it, of course, surprise a person, like I said, uh, you, you, uh, you're hunting them. Oof, I can light, light, heavy. I, if I finish him with a firestorm, most of the time he's on the ground. You prop your firestorm and he's just dead. You just melt him instantly. What I like to use as well, uh, most of the time, um, is of course... Uh, Cursed weapon, I like to use. I like to use as well uh, Warden to increase my uh, defense. And of course, if I combine Warden as a two slaughter, then I have to combine it with Soul Ray. It just pierces the enemy's targets straight through him. Like I said, you, you attack him with your melee build, you make sure that he's off balance, then you strike him with a Soul Ray, and he's simply just gonna melt very fast. You will not know what's hit, what's hit, what hit him. At least that's my combination I like to use in form of PvE. And with this character, actually, yeah. Uh, or, or I just go with the Wrath of God, actually. I call it the Dragonborn Smasher. I just smash the shit out of him. Um, and then I use my... Um, then I use my... Uh, Firestorm, for example. Um, of course, a form of rings. Um, the, the rings I like to use, of course... Uh, Rings, uh, the ring of strength, and it's a standard equipment ring for me because I'm quite of a heavy burden. As you can see right now, I'm already 50.7 because I'm having this. Then I have to equip this with a just a ring. Then I'm on to the 50%. Then like this, I'm not fat rolling. It's most of the setup I have on um, with the Dragon Bolt Smasher. Otherwise, I'm too much uh, above 50%. Plus I'm fat rolling. Um, but then I, I like to use then if I'm of course in human form, I like to use my re regenerative ring. And I have a, a health coming from a justice ring, health coming from a regenerification ring. Yeah, I just have a, a shit ton of health coming back every single time. That makes me very tanky and very difficult to kill actually in PvP and even in PvE as well. Because um, 90% of the time right now, me playing Demon Souls, I'm uh, actually always in human form. Um, yeah, because I'm really hard to kill. Uh, in form of uh, bows, what I'm using, I'm using the lava bow. I tested different bows within my builds. I tested, uh, of course, uh, oh, let me show you. I've, t I've tested the quality compound bone and I've tested the, the thicky compound bone long bow as well. Both of them, I leveled it up. Um, what I've found very important actually in, in compared to all the three bow bows actually, is the lava bow is simply the best bow you have in the game. Why is the Lava Bow so nice? Why I praise it's actually so high? Um, lava Bow actually, it provides you not only f uh, with decent damage attack, but every arrow that you shoot, it, it enhances this arrow with fire. So you don't need any fire arrows anymore. So that's why I only have Holy Arrows equipped. Um, Holy Arrows is one of the strongest arrows together with the White Arrows as, as well. So I only have those two arrow systems uh, equipped. But every single time I'm shooting with the, one of these arrows, Lava Bow makes sure that uh, this bow is uh, enhanced and is increased actually uh, with lava, with fire. So, because in, 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 new, in, in Demon Souls, most of the, the enemies actually are very weak to fire. So, that gave me the possibility as well if I really want to go. Um, if I don't have any fire spell equipped, I don't have. I only have my defense spell, I have my curse uh, bl weapon equipped, or any uh, anti magic weapon equipped. Um, then I, I like to use my Lava Bow. Get, get them in a distance and melt them very fast. And this Lava Boy is truly really amazing uh, how I like to use. What I like to use as well, you saw in a playthrough, is Morian Blade. 
Uh, the Morian Blade, what I like to use as well as a combination of the Morian Blade and my, the Makoto my weapon. What I like to use, then I like to go to Hyper Mode. If I want to destroy an enemy quite fast, actually, I activate my Morian Blade. I combine that with the Clever Red Swing and make sure that I am under the 30% uh, the uh, of health. I'm, I'm, my attack power is increased drastically um, because of it. So thanks to that, I have the ability and opp opportunity just to one-shot every single boss. Even if in a distance, like you saw with uh, uh, Made in Australia, I was in a quite in the distance and I was shooting her uh, with an extremely heavy, uh, strong bow attacks. So he, she was melting a very, very fast uh, New Game Plus 5. So that was thanks to uh, the Clever Red Wing and the... Uh, the Morian Blades. The Morian Blade increases your attack power when you are lower with 30% of health. And same thing goes to the Clever, the clever Red Wing. And those two uh, buff each other very well and they go very nicely with one another. But of course, this combination, I only use this combination and to boss fight and boss level actually that I know for 100% for sure. Um, I can dodge his, his mechanics or her mechanics quite easy. And thus I use that. But I like to combine that if I'm using with bow. Of course, I cannot use any cursed weapons. But um, if I'm with melee weapons, I like to combine that as well. With, of course, Are you begging for a magic? with one of my favorites, literally favorite ability used with melee based attack. is the cursed weapon. The cursed weapon is absolutely ridiculously sick. It increases your... Yeah, you have your you attack power by 50% itself. Um, thanks to that. Um, uh, thanks to this ability. But if, you, if I equip this then with the Morian Blades, I'm increased by... My health is under 30% uh, with a Clever Red Wing. I'm easily doing more than 6,000 uh, damage uh, per second um, output. It's absolutely insane, um, especially with the Dragon Bone Smasher. Combine Dragon Bone Smasher, Clever Red Wing. I'm just gonna equip it. Clever Red Wing, Dragon Bone Smasher. Are you gonna melt every single boss after the less than one second? All you have to do is dodge once, hit him two times, and he's dead. He's gone. He's simply gone. It's 100% guarantee. It's a 100% cheat code. I just go like this. You dodge one time. And he's dead. He's, he's done. The fight is simply over at that instance. It's Clever Red Wing, Bone Smasher, and Clever um, Amorian Blade, a health under the 30%. That's literally um, hyper mode, you're entering hyper mode. But that's, of course, it's very unique. I use that personally. Um, it's if I just want to finish the fight quite fast, I have that option as well. And within this build, you have that option as well. That's what I like about this build. You truly really have the versatility to approach certain thing, every single thing in this game as ever you want. So you, the game always be, it sticks fresh for you. It always becomes uh, new. You don't have to play every single time the same playstyle. If I want to go with bow, I can be with bow. I can be deadly with it. I want to do melee, I do melee. I want to combine the two, melee and magic. I can do both of them and surprise my characters, my NPCs, my, my, my follow-up gamers in PvE or in PvP very very easily thanks to this build and of course the gear set that i used for this build is the penetrator uh, armor the penetrator armor is literally by far my first uh, favorite armor we're gonna sit back with joy how this beautiful armor looks like we're trying to find good lightning because i really want to show this armor i'm really excited about this armor just look at the details fam look at this this armor looks aesthetically beautiful. This is literally the most beautiful armor in any game I ever saw. With, with, the, with the long weapon, long the demon, the dragon bone crusher. Look at this. Look at this style. I think I literally won the Demon Souls as a style award. My character is deadly and fashionable in a way it's simply what? Balling. <laughs> I'm simply, I'm simply in love with it. it. Look at this. Look at this. I think I did a good job in form of styling. Uh, if I did or did not, just let me know in the comments down below. 
And also that makes the, of course, in form of other abilities, um, this is general abilities that I, I like to use, like Soul Arrow I like to use to surprise my enemy in PvE and PvP. I just make give me this opportunity to work in range as well if I don't have any arrows anymore. Um, I like to use, of course, uh, Cursed Weapon. 90% of the time I'm Cursed Weapon just to uh, destroy my enemies quite fast. If I can't use my Cursed Weapon and then I go to Hyper Mode and I use my bows and then just destroy them. The second ability I like to use is Warden and increase my defense, especially in, uh, in PvE or close quarter combat in PvE. And PvP does definitely make sure that I'm not getting one shotted quite fast. Uh, the other ability I like to use is Firestorm. To enemies that are quite weak to fire, I just run towards them, Firestorm, then I destroy them with Bone Crusher directly. And it's literally my ability. An anti magic ability, uh, yeah, that is my bread and butter. Come a faith, it's like the only faith ability I always have slotted, like for 95% of all the zones I'm pushing through. And this ability literally makes sure that I have uh, um, the battlefield in my playground. If I have, I'm fighting or I'm coming across uh, uh, enemies who are, are magic affiliated, um, and there's a lot of them in this game, a lot of them. And if I'm of course in a zone, it is not the case, then of course I, I change that. I make sure I have second chance equipped and I rege regenification. Uh, second chance provides me for, like I said, a second chance of life. And I slowly recover. I like to lose this as well, especially in boss fights. And I put this on, slowly recover with my, uh, my shield. Adjust the shield and... Uh, regenification. This, this combo is simply absolutely insane. Um, oh, let me show you. Oh, damn it. Anti magic, uh, second chance, no, regenification. So, what I like to use then. Oh. Let me buff myself up first. That is literally the most of the combo I like to use and uh and every fight that I do actually within Demon Souls. And then I, of course I proc my cursed weapon. Then I'm not in hyper mode and just I go for it. I go to any boss. I have so many heals coming up for me, I just go for any boss and I go poof and I do my thing. Two things, two hits and he's simply dead. That's it. I have so many heals coming, uh, heals over time is coming for my shield, for my wing, and for my uh, faith ability. Doesn't matter how many times he hits me, I'm healing so fast, it doesn't, it literally doesn't matter anymore. That's absolutely insane, it's absolutely insane. I saw yourself how fast my health just came back, just for approaching these three abilities together. It's one of the combos I loved using in PvE. Especially in PvP as well. It's, it's something that really don't don't expect uh, this amount of health that I have. And of course, if you have your shield that educated a shield into plus five, your he your, your healing and your reunification and your faith ability will become even disgusting high. It's just simply disgusting high. I call this a cheat code. It's simply a cheat code. It's a survival cheat code that I use uh, in this game. And it marks it, of course. Uh, yeah. That marks the end, actually, of course, of this uh, showcase of my build, actually. And hopefully you like this build. Uh, if you do, don't forget uh, to press the like. You comment down below and subscribe yourself to the channel. Because there's a lot of good things coming within Mainland Gaming itself. And, of course, uh, if you want to support the home team, it would be so much appreciated uh, by you hitting the, the, the like button and subscribing yourself. And keep yourself posted on everything that's to do with gaming. Because Mainland Gaming is your channel to be comes to gaming entertainment um, I say thank you very much for listening and for being here and of course stay safe out there and I'll see you all in the next stream and next playthrough within uh, Demon Souls or any other games that will be streamed within my channel I'll see you see you next time remember now peace out the next shall imprison me no longer
I shall lull the old one back to slumber. My thanks. At last. At last. The end is in sight. <laughs> one along with the maiden was swept back into the lulling fog Volataria was spared from the demons but also lost its knowledge of the soul arts the souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved and today the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together A brave new hero of unprecedented power.